Hello and welcome to this video. Sometimes when you draw your charts and you would notice that on the x-axis or on the y-axis your numbers are coming as scientific notation. In most of the cases they are not very user friendly. The charts would look much better if we can format those numbers with comma formatted values something like this or something like this in millions and billions. So let's see how we can make those transformations in our chart. So let's start writing our script. First we would import some packages, ggplot2, dplyr, and gapminder. Using gapminder dataset, we can transform this data into another data frame called df. And you would notice that it has data for some countries and for various years and their population in various years. So let's reduce our data set so that we only have few countries in there. So I'm actually filtering the data by the year. So we want to use the latest data available in the gapminder. And then after filtering it, I just want to arrange it in a descending order of population and then I just want to pick the top 10 values. So we have 10 countries with their populations and these are the highest population countries in the year 2007. So here is our first chart using ggplot2. We want to use the data set df.2007 which we created. On the x-axis we have the country and on the y-axis we have the population. And you can see that we have scientific notation on the y-axis because the population seems to be very, very high in millions and billions. So we would like to transform that into something better. And the first thing which we want to use is the options ski pen equals 999. If you include that command at the top of your script, you would notice that whenever you run your commands, your numbers are properly shown in, in, in actual values rather than in the scientific notation. But to make those numbers much better, we can also use a comma formatted values using another package called scale. So we'd have to call that library first. So I would call the library or the package scales. It's a very useful package. And using that, we can say on the scale y continuous, the labels should be comma. So let's run this script now. And you will notice that suddenly your numbers are much better. You have commas after millions and billions. So that looks nice. But let's make another change to that as well. Now let's try another option which is available in the scales package. And instead of using scales comma, I'm using scales label underscore number underscore si. And let's see the magic of this. If we run this command, suddenly your numbers are in millions and billions. And that will be much more useful if you are actually displaying the data to the end users. I hope you found this video useful and practical. Thank you very much for watching this and I'll see you in the next one.